Hello and welcome to another video from the only source of information that you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it. And today's just going to be another update to our uh, moon watching activities. I, uh, I think I should probably put a video like this out twice a week because I don't want, when this happens, I don't want people to say, um, Eric made all that stuff up. He didn't know this was going to happen. I kind of want people to know I knew. Uh, obviously, the opposite is true, too. I've, if, if nothing happens, I don't want anybody to know because it's be embarrassing. But uh, I really think something's going to happen. And even if it doesn't, I think that it's good that we're all excited about something happening because we should be. You know, this, this world is horrible. Um, eight billion people on this planet, all of them struggling to get ahead of everybody else, all of them selfish, all, all of them hateful. And so if you told them civilization was coming to an end, you know, they'd be all upset. Like, my, I only got three payments left on my truck, or I was planning a vacation, or, you know, my retirement account is full of money. And, and for me, uh, I don't, I don't really care about any of that, and I've got that general opinion or feeling that none of my subscribers really care about that. This, this world is so bad that all the money in the world won't make it better. But anyway, uh, we're gonna come. I, I've got about five people coming down. I, I got precisely five people coming down, and that's basically all my house can handle because. You know, it's me and my wife, five other people, that's seven people. I've counted up the beds. Um, couples only take up one bed, that kind of thing. But um, if you are one of those people that wants to come down here and experience this with me, which there may be nothing to experience, but if there is, it would be great if we, if we had 100 people on the beach and we saw the moon shoot across the sky, that would be like the greatest party ever, you know. But uh, sadly, uh, we really, we don't have the bathrooms for it, we don't have the beds for it, and if you want to come down, you're more than welcome, but you'll end up having to stay in a hotel or stay in an RV or something like that. I mean, I would love to have more people in here, but I want this to be enjoyable, and I think at seven people, we're just about we're pretty close to not having any fun. Now, I did think seriously about making an announcement that my bed is big enough for two people. And I could tolerate sleeping with another person, but I really, I thought about it. And you don't, you don't know what you're going to get when you put out an announcement like that. You know, I really don't want some gay guy sleeping next to me. I haven't got anything against them if they like doing that stuff, but I don't want them... I don't, know, I don't know what's in this guy's head, but I don't want him next to me when I'm not awake. You know, I mean, I'm just saying. But if I get on, a, on video and say, if you're a heterosexual woman and you want to come stay right here, you can stay right here next to me. Although, if you're somebody I know, that sounds like a lot of fun. But, uh, you know, I, I can't, even if it's a, an attractive woman that I get along with, I would be a little bit uncomfortable inviting someone to sleep with me from the other side of the country and that I don't even know. Plus we haven't really figured out when everybody needs to get here and when they when they have to leave. But I know I don't want to be in bed with somebody I don't like for a week. So if you got some ideas like that, you're gonna to have to call me and talk to me. I don't think I can just do that. Plus there's another guy coming that's single and usually whenever we get on the phone together, our conversation is always about loneliness because he doesn't have a girlfriend, he's never had a girlfriend, I've never had a girlfriend, and it's just very, it's sad because that we're the kind of, me and my friend are the kind of guys that have wanted a girlfriend since we were very little and never had an opportunity to experience that. But that's all out of the way. I'm just telling you that if you want to come down here and hang out at the beach, what we're going to do, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get some lawn chairs, some snacks. Uh, we were going to have a fire, but I don't want to organize that because I don't have a truck. I don't have a load of lumber, and uh, I don't want to spend all of our time together preparing for an event. You know, I'd rather just be spending our time together, having fun. 
but we are going to have people here. The house is pretty much going to be maxed out because of the number of beds I have and the number of bathrooms I have. But if you really want to come down and participate in this with us, you can get a hotel room. Or if you have an RV, you can come down and stay in your RV. And there might be a place to put an RV on my property. Um, I'm just putting that out there. Now, there, the, the thing about this is that I don't know if the moon is going to shoot across the sky on September 23rd or if it's going to take a week slowly going across the sky or if it's going to just disappear and magically reappear somewhere because I don't really know all of the kind of stuff God has planned for that day. But um, we do have charts that we can look at that tell us what the moon's going to look like that night. So I've got, I'm going to look at one right now. Because I think this is the 25th. So on the 25th, we should have what's called a waxing gibbous. Now these, these phrases are not important to know. If you look, there's a picture of what you'll see. That's all that's important. But just for your basic information, waxing is when the, the moon appears to be growing. Waning is when the moon appears to be shrinking. And then there's a new moon, which is nothing there. And then there's a full moon, which is the whole thing is lit up. You know, the moon itself is not changing in size. It just appears to do so because of the light of the sun hitting it. And in, in, in general, you can see that the, the whole moon is there. It's just that the part that's lit up seems to be the only part that's there if you just glance at it. So I'm going to put a link to that in the description and uh, I'll put my, I guess I can put my email, I don't think I really want to put my phone number in there. I'll put something in there so you can contact me if you want to come down because even if you're going to stay in a hotel you need to know where I live and if, you know, how, what the arrangements are going to be like and uh, you know, what is the best place to hotel, what's the best place to park an RV, that kind of stuff. So, um, if you, if you want to come down and spend some time with, it'll be me, of course my wife Rachel, but she, she's not very communicating, uh, she, you know, she's mentally handicapped, so it's not like somebody we're going to talk to. I doubt she'll go to the beach with us or anything. I, I'll ask her, but she probably won't. Uh, then there's uh, Demetrius. I don't think I made a, a video with Demetrius. And he'll bring his dog and his girlfriend. And then there's Sam, who is single. Young guy, like in his 20s, I think, maybe 30s. And uh, Jared. I, I made a video with Jared out in the woods here. He'll bring his daughter with him. Uh, I called him Gerald in the videos because I just, I'm not good with names. Even now, every time I call him, I, I'm like, I have to wait a few minutes to call him because I got to remember his name. But uh, that's, that's who's going to be here. And maybe you. Well, if you don't want to survive, don't listen to me. This has nothing to do with survival. That's not a good ending. Bye-bye. Uh, I love you.